Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, I'm Laia. If it's your first time practicing with me, I'm an accessible yoga teacher as well as a writer and a slow living and creativity advocate. I'd love to know what is something that is inspiring you lately to create or show up or live more authentically. Today's practice will be a mellow yoga flow to help you refresh and reset. Whether you feel inspired and you're like, yeah, this inspired me and I just looked outside and like butterflies, rainbows and unicorns, or you're like deep in it, this is a chance for you to pause, check in and realign. What accessible yoga means is that I will be offering you different options for the different postures and techniques that we'll be using today. So it is absolutely your choice what you take, what you leave and how you choose to engage in this practice. This is a reminder to grab anything that you may need. One of the first things that I do before I practice or before I teach especially is drink some water. Also, if there are any props that you may want, collect them now, bring them near you. I have two blocks and a yoga mat. If you have those things, wonderful. Otherwise, I will be offering different options so you can do what you want with what you have. So there's no specific props that you actually need. Those are just added suggestions. Let's go ahead and get started with today's practice to help you refresh, reset and realign to and to get yourself back in alignment, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally. The intention is just to truly be present. And we're going to lie down on the back. So you can bring your feet to the floor and then let your knees face up toward the ceiling and you can then bring your feet a little bit wider and rest the knees toward one another like a tent shape. Or you could also stretch your legs all the way down. It's really up to you. And your hands can rest on your belly or next to you on the ground. And before you fully settle in, take a moment to wiggle anything that needs wiggling. Move your head a little bit side to side. And as you do so, notice the colors, the textures, the shapes around you, whether you're indoors or outdoors. Notice the surface beneath you the support and eventually once you feel ready bring yourself to stillness letting your gaze soften or if you rather you can also close your eyes listening to the sounds around you of people of nature of life Becoming aware of everything that is. But letting yourself draw your attention closer and closer and closer to yourself. Recognizing that the world can keep moving. And you can give yourself a true break to just be. To recalibrate, to refresh. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose or the mouth. Again, inhale. See if you can notice your belly, your rib cage, and your chest expand. Exhale, letting your entire body relax toward the earth as you empty all the way out. One more, just like that. Inhale to expand. Exhale to release. Begin to wiggle your fingers. Begin to wiggle your toes once again. And on your next inhalation, stretch your arms overhead. Maybe stretch your legs as well, but not necessary. Giving your entire body a stretch or as much of a stretch as you need right now. And on your exhalation, let your entire body soften toward the floor. Maybe your arms stay overhead or maybe you bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And 
And give yourself permission here to observe how you arrive. Perhaps you were fully aware of how you've been moving through your week. Not just the activities that you've done and the places you've gone and the people you've interacted with, but how you have felt energetically. How you've been able to return to center, how you've been able to move in accordance to your values, your goals. But no matter how you feel that you arrive here, can you, ne can you let the next breath be full and expansive enough that you let yourself start fresh? So when you're ready, take a really deep inhalation, possibly through the nose. Really letting it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Maybe let yourself hold at the top, connecting to the abundance of prana, life force within you. And once you're ready, open your mouth and let it out, maybe making sound, ha. <sighs> Let yourself relax, even if it's 1% more. Inhale, stretch both arms overhead. Exhale, plant your feet flat on the floor, parallel to one another, knees face up toward the ceiling. Now notice if your low back is really arched here and press it down toward the earth a bit more. Then bring your arms next to your body with your palms down, press through the back body and stay here or on your next inhalation, press through your feet and your arms a bit more and start to lift your hips off the floor. You don't have to go very high. Maybe you allow the chest to lift up toward the chin a bit more. Keep your gaze up toward the ceiling. Inhale. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your hips one vertebra at a time, slowly lower yourself all the way back down. Feel free to keep your arms next to your body or lift them overhead. Inhale. And on the exhalation, as the arms are overhead, maybe you bend the elbows and you're more in cactus arms or they're stretched up. Heel toe your feet a little bit wider, maybe as wide as the mat. Inhale. Exhale, allow the knees to surrender toward the left as much as you want to. Inhale, bring your knees back through center. Exhale, surrender the knees toward the right. You could also start to mobilize through the spine a little bit more as you inhale to the center. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze and neck to the right. Inhale through the middle. Exhale, knees to the right, gaze, maybe goes to the left. One more on each side at your own pace, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pause at the center as you inhale. Exhale, heel to your feet toward one another. Stretch your legs away from you. Stretch your arms away from you. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, walk your feet over to the left corner of your mat. If you feel enough sensation, stay here. Or maybe move your upper body also to the left corner of the mat. So you're kind of creating a banana shape with your body. You can grab your right wrist with your left hand to create even more sensation. And also you can cross your right ankle over your left one. But make sure that both shoulders and both hips remain as grounded as possible. One more breath here, inhale. And on the exhalation, bring your torso back to neutral and cross the ankles, stretch out, inhale. Exhale, this time your feet move over to the right. Maybe you cross the ankle, maybe you don't. And again, you can also move the torso to the right. This time you would grab your left wrist with your right hand. Notice the space that comes through the left side body. One more deep breath in. And on your exhalation, return everything through center. Stretch out for one more moment. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, plant your feet on the floor and roll toward either side, eventually bringing yourself up 
to a seated position of your choice. Just take a moment to maybe sway a little side to side, grounding the sitting bones. And eventually, find yourself steadily on your seat. Let your shoulders relax down and away from your ears. Inhale, reach both arms up. And on the exhalation, interlace your hands and then flip your palms up toward the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean, lean a little bit toward the left, opening the right side body. Maybe it goes a little bit more open than you think since you've already done this stretch. Maybe you find exactly where it feels good and you stay there. Inhale back through center. Exhale, lean to the other side. Notice the space and the sensation. Inhale through center. Exhale, as you release your hands, make circles with your wrists as you lower your arms all the way down. Let your fingertips rest next to you on the floor. If they don't reach the floor, this is a great place to grab your blocks and bring your fingertips to your blocks so you feel the extension from the fingertips through the arms, the shoulders, all the way to the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Stay there or play with lifting and lowering your chin for a moment. One more breath. Back through center as you breathe in. Breathe out, take the other ear to the shoulder. Stay there, move your chin up and down until you find a sensation that you're like, hmm, that feels a little expansive or releasing or whatever it is that you're seeking. One more breath. And come back through center. Take both arms up, breathe in. Maybe your gaze follows. And as you breathe out, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your fingertips together, but separate your wrists and relax your shoulders and your elbows down. Maybe your gaze comes down to the fingertips. Take a deep inhalation. Exhale, relax your shoulders. One more, inhale. Exhale, release your fingertips, bring your hands behind you, bring your feet in front of you, flat on the floor, a little bit wider than your hips, and then move your knees from side to side like windshield wipers, or shake out your legs in any way that feels good. Breathe in, and breathe out. Pause at the center, slide your legs to either side, and start to bring yourself to a tabletop, hands and knees. As always, if your knees are sensitive, please use a blanket underneath or double fold your mat. And same for your wrists. If your wrists are sensitive, instead of spreading your fingers wide and gripping through your fingertips, make fists with your hands and keep your wrists out of the way. Find a little bit of movement now. Maybe your hips move side to side or you create some circles with your hips around your knees one way. And the other. But again, just letting your breath guide you. Couple more breaths wherever you find yourself. Inhale. And on your exhalation, find yourself in a stable tabletop. Ground through your left side. And on your inhalation, start to take your right hand to your right hip and open up to the right. Or maybe reach your right hand up toward the ceiling. And on the exhalation, thread your right arm under the left. Let it float as you look over to the left. Inhale, open up through the elbow or the arm, look to the right or up. Exhale, thread your right arm and look to the left. Hover. One more, breathe in to stretch and open. Breathe out this time, thread your arm and take your shoulder perhaps to a block. Maybe your ear comes to a block and your shoulder floats. Maybe it comes to the floor, yeah? One's not better than the other. Your left hand could stay in front of you for stability or start to walk it forward. And again, so you can keep your ear on the floor, on the block. If you wanted to play a little bit more, lean a little bit into your right leg and maybe your left leg stretches back and you reach through the heel. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, if you lifted the knee, lower it back down. Left hand in front of your face, press into it, inhale, right elbow or right hand back up. Exhale, bring your right hand back down. Take a moment to find stability in your tabletop again. 
And on your inhalation, left hand to the hip, draw your left shoulder open and stay. Or maybe lift your left arm up toward the ceiling. Exhale, thread your left arm and look over to the right. Inhale, open to the left. Lift, reach. Exhale, thread and hover. One more, breathe in. Breathe out this time, thread and take your shoulder and your ear to a block or the floor. Take a moment to notice how this side feels before you decide if your right hand stays in front of the face or maybe it stretches forward. And if you have capacity for a little bit of playful time of the, or that is what you're seeking by intentionality, perhaps you shift your weight a little to the left and your right leg stretches back, pressing through the toes and reaching back through the right heel. One more breath wherever you are. And then if your right knee is off the floor, slowly lower it down. Right hand in front of your face, press onto it. Inhale, take your left hand back up. Exhale, lower your left hand to the floor. Walk your hands about a handprint forward and your knees about a few centimeters back. Press through your fingertips and find a diagonal line with your body here. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down to the floor. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press through your palms, squeeze your elbows through the side of the body, and on your inhalation, lift your chest as little or as much as you want. And as you exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift again. Now this time, stay there, or maybe take your hands off the floor, continuing to squeeze everything toward the midline, toward the spine. Maybe you stretch your arms out and back a little bit, keeping the engagement of the back body, and press through the tops of the feet onto the earth. Inhale, exhale, make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down and surrender for a moment. Let your hips wiggle side to side, maybe bend your knees and windshield wiper your legs or crisscross. One more breath, inhale, and on your exhalation, extend your legs behind you, parallel to one another, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press into your palms, lift your chest. Maybe this time you let yourself go a little bit higher. And on your exhalation, press yourself back. Now you could stay in tabletop or tuck your toes and your hips up and back, lifting your knees off the ground and bringing yourself to downward facing dog. If you're in tabletop, find any movement that serves you. If you're in downward dog, feel free to pedal out your legs or maybe bend your knees deeply and then move your hips from side to side. Consider what feels refreshing, inspiring. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you could stay in downward dog or bring yourself to tabletop. So from either shape, inhale, take your right leg behind you, keeping your toes facing down to the floor, engage your core. Exhale, bring your right knee toward your chest and eventually bring your right foot between the hands. For some of us, that means you grab your ankle with your hand and you help it forward. Left knee will now lower down to the floor. Whether your toes are tucked or pointed is up to you and how much stability you're seeking. And you could absolutely keep your hands on the floor. If you have blocks, maybe you bring your hands to your blocks. Slowly lifting your chest, maybe your hands come to your right knee. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forwards. And on your next inhalation, if you have blocks, I invite you to bring them a little bit closer toward the hips so your hands are resting on them. But start to lift your arms up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. And on the exhalation, stay or pressing onto your right foot, lean a little bit toward the left. You could always lower your left hand back to the block or maybe even to the floor, depending on the length of your arm, really. One more breath, maybe your gaze goes over to the right, breathe in, breathe out. Back through center, feel free to reach both arms up for a moment, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your hands down to the ground, frame your right foot and begin to hinge at your hips. Before you do it, I invite you to slide your right foot a little bit more forward and then hinge at your hips and extend your right leg as little or as much as you want. Take a moment here to dial your toes right and left, keeping your spine long. Breathe in and breathe out. 
One more breath, inhale and exhale. Shift your weight forward enough that you can shift into your left leg and then bring your right leg next to it. Shift your weight forward into a knee plank or perhaps you lift your knees off the floor for a plank. Inhale, exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the earth. Lower your entire body down, hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Inhale, peel your chest off the floor for your back bend. And on the exhalation, take your hips back, maybe stay in tabletop or find yourself in downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the nose or the mouth. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. From downward dog or from tabletop, absolutely your choice. Inhale, take your left leg up and back. Exhale, draw your left knee toward the chest, shift your weight forward, and with whatever help you need, step your left foot between your hands. Lower your right knee to the floor if it's lifted. Take a moment to find the stability on your low lunge. Hands on the floor, on your blocks, on whatever height works, or maybe on your left thigh. And again, remember if you have your blocks this time today, I invite you to walk them a little bit closer near your hips. Press down through your left foot and stay here. Or on your next inhalation, sweep your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, find a little bit more length. And as you press down through your left foot, breathe in. And as you breathe out, let your upper body lean a little bit toward the right. You can continue grabbing your wrist or maybe your right hand comes down to the block or to the floor for a little bit more support or to encourage a deeper side stretch. So it's not that using the block is a less advanced or whatever, it's just different. <laughs> Do what works for you. One more breath. Pressing down through the front foot. Inhale, come back through center, reach both arms up for a moment. Exhale, lower your hands back down to your blocks or to the floor. Perhaps slide your left heel slightly forward, breathe in. And as you breathe out, hinge at the hips, stacking them over your right leg and extend your left leg as little or as much as you want. Notice here, if your back rounds a lot, I invite you to use your blocks in a higher setting so that you can actually hinge from the hips instead. And maybe you dial your left toes from side to side here. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Slow down the movement, shift your weight just a little bit forward, plant your left foot down onto the floor, this time using your blocks or your hands. Inhale, lift your right knee off the floor. And as you exhale, take several steps or maybe one big step until you come to the top of the mat. Feet parallel to one another, hands to the floor, your blocks, your legs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, find a flat back. And on the exhalation, bend your knees sufficiently so that your torso can rest over your legs and you can fully relax your upper body as if it was cascading over the lower body. Feel free to sway back and forth or side to side. And for a little increased stress relief, I invite you to pinch the tops of your ears here and massage them. Breathe. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, if you're massaging the ears, release the arms, press down through your feet. Inhale, slowly rise up, taking your arms out to the sides and up, stretch. Reach your fingertips overhead as your gaze perhaps follows. And on the exhalation, bring your hands together in front of your heart, bend your knees and surrender all the way back down. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward, flat back. And on the exhalation, this time step your left foot back. You could lower your left knee back down to the ground or this time you could leave it off the floor, it's up to you. Stay here or on your inhalation, rise up. As you do so, your arms also lift up, grab your right wrist with your left hand. And on the exhalation, stay or press into your right foot and then lean a little bit to the left. How playful do you wanna get? Maybe your left hand finds your hip instead. Come back through center as you breathe in. Bring your hands to your hips. 
step your left foot forward as you breathe out. Keep your knees bent, arms forward or up, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, hands to your blocks or the floor and fold. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Frame your left foot this time and step your right foot back. Again, you can lower your right knee or leave it off the floor. Stay here on your next inhalation. Lift your chest, lift your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Breathe in to lengthen a bit more. And breathe out to maybe lean a little bit toward the right. Notice what happens here, how seriously you're taking yourself. Maybe your right hand surrenders to the hip. Inhale, bring your arms back to neutral. Keep your gaze, your dristi forward. Exhale, hands can come down to your hips. Step your right foot next to the left. Knees remain bent just for a moment. Arms forward or up, breathe in. Breathe out, hands to the floor or the blocks. Extend the legs as little as much as you want. Fold. Let yourself sway side to side as you breathe. <sighs> One more breath, inhale, and exhale. And on your inhalation, lift your chest halfway. And utilizing your blocks, or perhaps not, you can start to bend your knees and send your hips down toward the heels. Again, your blocks can be near your hips so that you can create a little bit more stability with them. You could also choose to bring your fingertips in front of your heart, just as we did before, fingertips together, wrists away from one another. Let yourself breathe, let yourself be. Let yourself find a little bit of a spark of joy and inspiration through movement, breath, and being present. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, look, you can let yourself come to a seat as graciously as you want. Flopping down is absolutely permitted. Let your legs sway a little side to side for a moment. And then the invitation here is to either bring your left foot in or your right foot in rather and extend your left leg out as little or as much as you want. You can bring your blocks in front of you and then do one side and then the other. Or if you rather, you could go ahead and extend both legs. How much you extend the legs is completely up to you. You could leave your knees bent and that may allow your sitting bones to be more grounded and for you to actually go further forward and create a sensation that serves you most. But I just want you to explore. So either one foot in, bending your knee, and extend the opposite leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to let yourself go forward onto your blocks or the floor. Relax your head. Or if you'd rather, you could keep both legs extended. If you have both legs extended, you'll be here for a little bit longer. Notice what arises, maybe after a few breaths, you notice that you wanna let yourself fold a little further or maybe you wanna come out of the stretch a little bit, right? Finding the space that truly serves you right now. If you're doing one set at a time, rise up as you inhale, bringing your extended leg in and extending the opposite out, inhale to lengthen. And exhale to let yourself go forward, keeping in mind that perhaps on this side you need something different. Not better or worse, just different. One more breath. And whatever you are, and your next inhalation, start to slowly bring yourself back up. Draw both legs in, bringing your feet in front of you, knees up. Give yourself a little hug. Sway side to side for a moment. And then slowly lift yourself back up. Find a comfortable seat. Hands on your lap or your knees, spine long, shoulders relaxed. Or if it serves you, you could also lie down for a few moments, bringing yourself to more surrender and groundedness. But either way, wiggle out whatever needs wiggling out. And then maybe let your eyes soften down or close. 
And just for now, let yourself truly be an observer of your inner landscape. Perhaps you're able to observe how the energy is moving. Or where you have carved spaces of gentleness. Let yourself recognize anything that feels refreshed or reawakened or realigned just by the simple fact that you chose to show up, move, breathe, and explore. So can you acknowledge the power in that? Take a deep breath in through your nose, letting it expand once again, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Hold at the top, side out, and as you move into the rest of your day or your week, I invite you to consider perhaps a snippet of wisdom that you might have gained in this practice of how can you move into your life or through your life rather in a way that is more aligned, more balanced? How can you utilize your energy more by choice than by inertia? And it can start with just a breath, with just a movement, with just an action. So plant the seed. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. And very slowly and gently, start to bring movement back through your fingers, your toes. Move your neck or move anything that you want to start bring me, bringing movement back into. Stretch, yawn. If you're lying down, maybe rise up, taking your time. I hope that you have enjoyed this mellow yoga flow to refresh and recharge and realign. I appreciate each and every one of you and I look forward to practicing with you again. Thank you everybody. I hope that you've enjoyed this practice. Thank you all for the hearts, thank you all for the love and especially for being here and actually even more for taking care of yourselves. Um, I think that the more that we make space for this kind of practices over binge watching, doom scrolling, and all that stuff that I know I engage in way more than I want to, um, I think that the world will change. And I think we desperately need some change. So, all right, so friends, thank you all so much for being here, for practicing with me. I hope that you feel a little bit refreshed, a little bit more aligned to continue your day and your week. And I will see you all again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Much love, everybody.